What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. So a couple things. One, I am wearing the hat that nobody likes. Um, I'm actually about to get myself a, a haircut. Uh, I have to be up early in the morning. I'm actually doing a, uh, a charity walk for muscular dystrophy. So um, kind of tired, just got back from the gym. But what I thought I would do is just a quick, this is not going to be a tutorial, it's not going to be a how-to, this is going to just be kind of a check-in. Uh, I've been using Manjaro Linux now for roughly a little over a week, and I just want to kind of give you guys my um, my synopsis. So uh, right at the top of the video, a couple of very commonly asked questions. Uh, what in the world is this down here? Um, scrolling in the terminal. That is FFmpeg. It is what I am using to capture my screen as well as my audio. Of course, I'm using Manjaro Linux XFCE edition. Um, down here, I replaced Plank that normally comes with um, uh, Manjaro with Docky. And capturing me, moi, is GUVC View with an HP HD webcam. So that's that. Um, so what do, what do I think about Manjaro Linux? Well, first things first, I think it's ridiculously fast. Um, everything is instant. Um, how easy has it been to migrate from, say, Ubuntu over to Manjaro? I'll be honest with you, setting up Manjaro XFCE Edition is easier than setting up Ubuntu Linux. Out of the box, things just, just work. You can install this with your proprietary drivers um, already installed. It'll actually do a, there's a tool in this distro that'll detect the hardware that you're using and install the appropriate proprietary drivers for you. Or you can install it using free drivers. Once you get this thing up and running and installed on your system, DVD support is, is uh, built in um, right out of the box, flash support, MP3 and, and various other audio file support is built in out of the box. Of course, this is based on Arch Linux, um, but everything's configured for you. Sound is already configured. The only thing I had to do with my ATI card is I had to um, configure my XORG file a little bit. Um, once I booted up, it had a nice black um, bar going around the outside edge. Uh, basically, there's a setting over here under adjustments, the scaling option. It uh, wasn't scaled properly. What I had to go and do is actually um, update my XORG file uh, because I would change it here in the GUI, the uh, Catalyst Control Center, but it wouldn't take after reboot, so I had to keep doing it. Uh, anyway, I ended up jumping on the Arch Linux Wiki, and one, one of the other things I did was... Let's go to my Dropbox folder here, and actually, and I copied a bunch of performance in, uh, enhancements for people with AMD or ATI cards, and I put them in my XORG file. So I got that right off the Arch Linux wiki. So again, another benefit of using Manjaro, you also get the power of Arch. For those um, wondering, and you know what, maybe I'll jump over to the Manjaro website real quick. You know, Manjaro, again, is based on Arch. It's a rolling release. So you get a lot of the up-to-date packages, which is one of the things I like the best. Uh, let's see here. So that means you know you're not gonna have to reinstall your distro every time new updates come out. The other thing about Manjaro is I'm not sure where it here uh, where it is here, but um, they have their own repositories where they also test packages. So you know you're not gonna get just because you know it's a rolling release. People think that this is going to somehow be buggy all the time. Not necessarily. Um, I'll be honest. I have had zero zero system crashes with Manjaro Linux XFCE running on top of, of course, Arch Linux. Whereas with Ubuntu, I had stuff happening to me. Not I, I don't want to dog it, not on a really regular basis, but it was just a lot buggier. I, 12.10 anyway. 12.04, little issues, but nothing crazy. 12.10, in my opinion, for me, was a disaster. Um, this has been rock-solid stable. Now, XFCE was supposed to have been updated 
early March, second week in March, to 4.12. But uh, as of right now, we're going to continue staying at 4.10 for XFCE edition. Um, for the theme that you see here, I'm using um, Graybird is the name of the theme. You can get it from the AUR repository. And uh, the icon theme that I'm using here is this one right there, Fayence Azure. So looks awesome. Looks really, really good. Uh, so yeah, I mean, have I been able to get work done? Absolutely. Have I been able to be productive? Absolutely. I mean, it's it's run rock solid. All of my favorite applications are installed that I would use in any other Linux distro. Oh, the other thing too, DVD support was built in um, out of the box. So um, I've got a... A nice one here, a nice movie that I picked up actually on Blu-ray, um, The Watch, which is absolutely positively hilarious, by the way. If you haven't seen this movie, I definitely suggest going and seeing it. It is uh, really, really funny. Um, but yeah, I was able to have DVD support out of the box. You know, just put the DVD in and you're good to go. Um, so phenomenal didn't have to mess with this so yeah uh, that movie's awesome really love this distro everything about it again it's just it just flies uh everything is just so instant everything opens it's responsive it's quick so yeah that is uh one week in am i still liking uh manjaro linux no i am still loving Manjaro Linux. Again, I think this is this is the way that uh, Arch really should be, um, you know, or offer uh, something like this anyway. I mean, I guess part of the charm of Arch is being able to kind of build it from the ground up. So, you know, maybe this type of thing isn't for everyone, um, and I guess that's why there's a place in you know the distro distro world for Manjaro, but. Um, you know, they've got some development releases uh, on their way out that you can test. 0 0.8.5, where they've got some updated graphical installers, because uh, currently it's a CLI installer. Very easy to use, though. Very, very easy to use. But they've got a, a GUI installer now. Um, they've also got some, um, oh, let's see here, uh, greeter uh, screens that they're working on. I think they're moving to LightDM. And they're working on some WebKit uh, greeter uh, greeters for you before you log in, so that's exciting as well. Uh, you know they're doing really good things. Again, can't say enough about Manjaro. Um, love being back on Arch again. I've also installed the Ubuntu font. It's a really nice anti-aliasing font. It looks awesome. I have it running here in Chromium, and I also have it as the default font for uh, for the desktop as well. But again. Um, I've got the proprietary ATI drivers installed. Um, sound has been running rock solid. Everything has just been really, really good. So I'm a week in, and I'm still loving it. You know, that's my review. I think it looks great. I think it runs great. I can I really see this on older hardware or lower end systems running phenomenally. Um, this would be amazing on a laptop. I mean, it flies on my desktop, which is a powerhouse. But I could see this running really, really well on a laptop. Um, so I can't say enough good things about it, guys. Again, if if you if you're a GNOME 2 user, if you miss that GNOME 2 experience where it's a lot of you know point and click with your mouse uh, versus kind of this touch interface um, that a lot of these other distros have, um, then you'll find yourself very, very at home here. And uh, I think that. Um, the idea that Arch Linux out of the box can be easier to use than something like Ubuntu, which has kind of had uh, this place in the Linux world as as the noob friendly distro. I think you know this Manjaro Linux has been, especially with this GUI installer coming, has been by far easier to set up out of the box than Ubuntu. It just has. So you know that's it, guys. Um, still loving it. I got some more videos coming out uh, very soon. I want to stay as active as possible. I want to release at least one or two videos a week. I'm going to be getting into some more Android stuff. I know everybody's been asking me about Android. 
So I'm definitely going to be getting into some uh, some Android um, development stuff. I hopefully will be picking up a new phone in the near future. I'm probably going to be getting the Samsung Galaxy S4. So I'll do a review on that. The other thing that I've, I haven't done is a review on my on my Nexus 7. I mean, there is a uh, a ton of of reviews already out there. This device has been out for a while, but I've got uh, my Nexus 7. I've got this really really great case for it as well. Um, I figured I'd just kind of give you my take on what I think about this tablet. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. I'm gonna go get myself a haircut, take a shower, get a uh, good night's sleep. But um, we're gonna ugh, we're gonna be putting some more videos out real soon. Hope you guys are doing well. If you've tried Manjaro Linux, um, especially since watching my videos, just uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, I've gotten some decent feedback on Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter, I'll include links in the video description below so you may do so. I'm pretty active on Twitter, and I try to interact with you guys as much as possible. And if you have a question, uh, it's really easy for me, especially if I'm out and about. Uh, YouTube doesn't allow you to respond to comments using the app, so... Uh, I don't like using the, the browser for comment responses uh, on on the phone anyway. So I use Twitter quite a bit. So follow me on Twitter if you're not. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you're doing well, and we will talk to you next time.